So as you start saying more than just hello, goodbye, thank you, you need to start forming sentences and a big part of that is using words like and, but, or to combine sentence fragments. You gotta join them together. And shall we begin? Oh, I see what you did. So the first one is E. For example, a mulher e a menina brincam. A mulher e a menina brincam. So it's just the letter E and it's pronounced E. E. So the woman and the girl play. One more example. Eles falam e elas correm. So that would be they talk and they run. But there's actually two different groups because you see the difference between the first elish and then the second elish. The first is a group of males and the second is a group of females. So the males talk and then the females run. Vocês têm água e sumo? So do you all have water and juice. Água e sumo. And the verb right there, it's pronounced tenhem. Yeah, to have. It's from the verb yeah. ter, to have. Okay, enough with the and. Let's move on to but. So the usage is pretty much the same as in English. You just use the word mas, M-A-S. Tu tens um livro. Mas... Não lês. You have a book, but you don't read. Tu tens um livro, mas não lês. Another similar example. Eu como, mas não bebo. I eat, but I don't drink. Which isn't true. No, I do all of those things. Now, finally, the or. You do something, or you do something else. Right? For example, Eu leio ou escrevo. I read or I write. Eu leio ou escrevo. How do you pronounce it? Oh. To me, it sounds like you're saying oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's just because oh. it's not a o oh, and it's not a u. Oh. It's a o. Oh. Another example. Eu como pão. O bebo sumo. I eat bread or I drink juice. I do all of those things. Yeah. Eles falam e elas correm. Eu como, mas não bebo. Eu como pão ou bebo sumo. 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 Vocês têm água e sumo? Cognates are your best friends when it comes to building Portuguese vocabulary quickly. Cognates are simple words that are very similar from one language to another. Portuguese and other Romance languages and English have many cognates because of their common Latin roots. It helps to notice some of the spelling patterns 
because you can often take a guess at a word by applying these rules. For example, words that end in T-I-O-N or S-I-O-N in English often end in SAUM Television, TELEVISAO Motivation, MOTIVASAO Words that end in T-Y in English often end in DAD Community, COMUNIDADE Words that end in B-L-E in English often end in VEL Memorable, MEMORÁVEL Applicable Aplicável. Words that end in ly in English often end in mente. Exactly. Exatamente. Precisely. Precisamente. See, you already know more Portuguese than you thought. As you come across more of these cognates, try to notice all these spelling patterns. You can use this technique to discover over 5,000 Portuguese words you already know at practiceportuguese.com slash words.